investigation into students sharing nude photos. Sexting among teenagers is more common than you might think. As KGW investigative reporter Kylie Boshi found out, these images aren't just being shared from student to student. In some cases, they're being posted online for anyone to see. Buried deep in the internet, users on an anonymous website trade nude photos of former classmates. We're not revealing the website to protect potential victims, but Beaverton police reviewed the site and confirm the online forum displays revealing images of females beneath the name and logo of 13 Oregon high schools, including Oregon City, Tualatin, and Southridge. Users request and trade nude photos of what appear to be mostly former students. Do parents know this is going on? No. School resource officer Dan Cotton says the exchange of nude images on an anonymous website is unusual, but sexting among classmates is not. We deal with this on a somewhat regular basis. Officer Cotton explains as technology has evolved and become more common, so has the exchange of nude or explicit images among teenagers. I would be willing to bet that any child past the grade of seventh knows personally someone who has engaged in this kind of behavior. A 2014 study found 28% of teenagers exchanged nude photographs with one another, often unaware of the consequences if an image is mishandled, stolen, or shared. A lot of times they're humiliated. They don't want to talk about it. They feel like they've personally done something wrong, even though they, you know, did these, took these photos, took these videos when they were in a, what they thought was a trusting relationship. Attorney Ashley Vaughn, a victim advocate, explains compromising photos can spread instantaneously and those images are difficult to erase. Your deepest, most intimate moments are being viewed by perhaps hundreds or perhaps thousands of people, uh, strangers all over the world, and you don't know who these people are. Earlier this month, three teenagers were charged over nude photos and videos of female students at North Eugene High School. Court records show thousands of nude photos were being exchanged via email, Dropbox, Snapchat, Kick, and Facebook Messenger. Experts say it's important for parents to talk to kids at a young age about sexting. Discuss the pressures. It's okay to say no. Explain the consequences. And also, know how phones are being used and where. Kids aren't taking naked photos in their living room. They're doing it in their bedroom and in their bathroom. Past generations didn't have this technology that teenagers have today. Young people suggest parents need to become familiar with social media and then have reasonable expectations for their kids. There comes a line where I think the parents also need to trust their children rather than be overprotective with them because I can guarantee if a parent will like take their kids social media passwords or take their phone password or like put a tracker on the kids phone it'll only make the kid want to disobey them more. An intimate photo may seem harmless to a teen until it ends up on an anonymous website along with their name and school for all to see. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News. If a photo does end up online, can you get it removed? We have more on that along with a breakdown on the law in Oregon and also tips for parents. It's all at KGW.com. And if you have a story you'd like KGW to investigate, you can contact us by phone or email. Both are on your screen right now. Matt joins us now. And